so in the first part uh, i discussed about cryptography and different techniques so let us uh, keep it aside i can say cryptography let us more focus on why we are using java uh, so again i am focusing on jvm jre and jdk uh, instead of uh, if you know there are not very uh, like recent languages like python also create virtual environment but jvm is virtual machine so we can perform different cryptography techniques on it and we can check that part but jvm is basically java virtual machine it's not physically exist java is made up of different parts jvm jre and jdk jdk is basically java development kit it consists of jre and jvm jre physically exist is the implementation of jvm its runtime environment there are different libraries jar files there are different programs in that but jvm never exist on your system it's just a virtual environment or virtual machine which loads codes verifies codes executes codes on its own so that's a very powerful thing in java uh, like there is a virtual machine so we never required about threads and those parts our system configuration never limits java programs so that's a very important thing then this is basic thing jdk jre jvm structure this is my jvm if i consider it like this so in this uh, and jdk so this is basically venn diagram you can like suggest like this jre and we are jvm here and there are sets of libraries and different things here so now let me tell you what is the cryptography thing here okay so before going to further part let me tell some why cryptography and what is the cryptography uh, in the market you can um, there are different things like bitcoin is up like that's cryptocurrency if you know the uh, recent trends bitcoin also there doge coin also there that's a cryptocurrency so crypto is not about money currency anything cryptography is just basically the technique to hide the text so hide the plain text so let me as i told you a b is doing their stuff sending the data in the outside world there are lot of lot of threats available these attackers are these are my attackers which always want to penetrate to this system or these systems or any data they want to steal these information always but a and b are very um, talented or we can say intelligent persons they are talking in code language also always they are talking in code language uh, always which known for known that code language is known for a and b so that's a similar thing in cryptography but what is doing a is sending this message so this is my message with some key with some key so this is circle is my just key to sending to this b knows this is the key to encrypt the data b is also having this data or we can say key to encrypt that my this part this is the my data this is my key but no one attacker knows this is the key because there is no meaning for that key there is no meaning for that data so that's a encryption thing is happening here so now a and b chats are safe so in previous part i told you what is the basic things like uh, what is the uh, symmetric symmetric is basically for the encryption and the decryption key is same key is same for the encryption and de decryption so i will tell you what is the encryption encryption is just basically plain text to cipher text cipher text is basically no one can read that message there is no meaning for that we can read that message but there is no meaning for that text there are some symbols also we can include some asterisks anything data in that we can add space also so that's a thing for the decryption and encryption if key is same then it's known as symmetric key then what is asymmetric if there is a symmetric thing there should be a symmetric thing what is the a symmetric thing while sending a data to b a creates two keys one is public another one is private 
for the encryption of data. One is public, another is private to send the data. So what A is doing? He is doing or he is encrypting the data using encrypting the data using this public key. Okay, encrypting data to this public key. This is my public key and sending this key to B also to decrypt that data. But while B is sending some data to A, A is decrypting that data to his private key. So as you can say that there is lot of lot of security in this and there are different techniques like signaturing, hashing, different things happen here or uh, in this data. So let me move to some important part. So what is the cryptography thing here? Let me tell you. Cryptography is the study of different techniques to secure data from unauthorized entry. So cryptography is not always related to encryption on anything. It's a technique to secure data from unauthorized entry, entity, entry, anything you can say. In computer science, we try to develop strategies and practices to protecting sensitive data. Now, if you have checked WhatsApp call, they are saying end to end encrypted. That what it means your chatting is not stored as a common text or your voice is not stored as a common text is encrypted. So most of cryptography involves very advanced mathematical functions used to or used for securing data. Why we require advanced things because attackers are always changing their strategies. They are always trying to penetrate the system. So we require a very advanced functions, mathematical functions for these purposes. The sole purpose of algorithms to develop cryptography is hide data from attacker or middleman. In this article, we are going to understood this part and everything. Uh, so you may check the cryptography things and we are going to do that stuff. So this is a plain text. I applied one key with encryption algorithm ciphertext generated decryption algorithm CLI pen text is generated. So what is this? IMP things I'm going to tell you. Plain text is basically your original message or data that is hidden from view through of cryptographic or encryption algorithm. Cipher text is basically your output of encryption, which is not readable. Like in previous thing, I created DBMM thing. That's the cipher text. Key is a piece of data or corrected pair of data. When input with plain text, it encryption of cipher text. So key is basically just encrypting and decrypting the data. If you put in that part, you will get or you will understand the plain text for that purposes. And salt is a random piece of data which is added to the hashing function. So I will tell you what is the hash here. Hash is nothing but uh, you have to create some map of arbitrary size of data or bytes in that data only in that main data to create some mathematical functions or create some mathematical attributes for that purposes. So there are different uh, encryption algorithms, triple DES, RSA, AES, advanced encryption standards, two fish, blowfish, idea, MD5, HMAC, SHA-256 is most like hashing functions of uh, 256 bits. Bitcoin is using SHA-256 is very higher level algorithms also they are using. So these are the purposes of uh, everything and asymmetric encryption as I told you public private key is created and they are shared to this. So mostly the cryptocurrencies are using asymmetric but for the simpler purposes I am deploying the uh, simple here which is basically uh, symmetric thing. So now um, let us create two three things here which are very useful and let us see how we can set up our project. So for the project setup, it's very easy. You can, you have to go to your IDE. You can choose your own IDE. You can choose anything. I'm not forcing anyone to stick to only one IDE. There is a reason for that because that's not very advanced part. Again, I am going with Intel JDI if you want to 
proceed with this you may proceed with this so open your own ide it will take some time to open but meanwhile uh, let me refresh your things plain text is basically uh, just uh, original message or data uh, which is hidden view through from uh, cryptographic encryption algorithms then uh, there is one another thing is cipher text which is input and output of encryption and key is a piece of data and salt is a, another piece of data which is added to the hashing function and i will tell you what is the hashing later because it will not understand directly using this part uh, we have to check for different purposes there so you need to create new project in your own ide so what i'm going to do is uh, i am going to create my new project in my ide so let me open my ide sometimes it take 2 3 minutes to open also due to my system configuration meanwhile let us see what is java class and methods okay. so everything in java is associated with uh, classes and objects along with attributes and methods considering the real life example car is an object which has some attributes such as weight colors etc etc but uh, car is also having like constructor or blueprint of creating objects and class holds some user defined attributes to pass values or inputs objects are uh, used to uh, create classes which has already created and invoke so that's it about how we are going to with this and these are the some information about java classes so class is a blueprint for object as i told you already and class is something to store different functions methods in one block of code and this is the syntax for declaring the classes so in the next part i am going to how we can deploy and how we can run our code in the next part hope you understand thank you